What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, the PC Pen. And today we're going to take a look at a game that is long overdue to be looked at, and that is Victor Brand. Alright, let's take a look at Victor Brand. This is an ARPG, or action RPG, as it were. So, I would think of a game like Diablo or Torchlight 2. Oh. Uh, Torchlight 2, which is actually available on Linux also. Um, so, I have not played Diablo. Yes, I have been one of the very few who have not been sucked into that uh, entire thing. But uh, I have played lots of Torchlight 2. This plays a lot like Torchlight 2. Uh, so you got a top-down, like, uh, isometric view, uh, and then you got a hero. Unlike Torchlight, though, you, you only, you're, sub you're only subject to one uh, hero. And that's Victor Vran. Even if you play it in multiplayer, uh, you are all Victor Vran. So let's take a quick look at the options and see what we get. Uh, these are the options to display things on the on the screen, much like uh, I would think like World of Warcraft or Diablo. You know, uh, if you hit somebody, the the damage numbers go up uh, above their head and all that stuff. So these, it's good to have these options. And then you have your controls. Uh, this does work with the Xbox 360 controller, but uh, it's a little bit janky in my opinion. Some some parts of the, the gameplay actually works fine with it, but the menu system is eh. Like when you go into the inventory, it doesn't quite work as uh, well as I think it should work. Uh, so uh, mm. what I've been doing is using the Xbox 360 controller and keeping the keyboard nearby and mouse. Uh, that seems to work for me. Uh, this game does seem to be intended to be work, uh, played with the Xbox 360 controller, though. So, I guess you can uh, just kind of mess around until you find your what, whichever con uh, input controls you prefer. Let's go to sounds. You got your standard sounds, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, here are your vid graphics options. You know, you got full screen. You got level of detail, like low, medium, high, all that. Uh, FX, FXAA for anti-aliasing is what I have. Yeah, that's the only option you have, actually. Uh, and a stroppy is, uh, I got mine on high. The shadows are on ultra. Uh, then you have grass on high, textures, post-processing, vignette, bloom, render, resolution, effect, lights, ground details, and then frame rate counter. I actually have the frame rate counter in the top left hand corner that's uh, provided by the Steam client though. So, there's that. Uh, you can send feedback, watch the credits, and I don't even know what redeem key means. Let's click and find out. No idea what this means. Okay, <laughs> moving along. Let's actually get into the gameplay. Here you have your inventory. You see I've collected some weaponry. Uh, you can actually change your weapon. You can uh, equip two weapons, uh, hit left and right. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. I have a hammer over here and a gun over here. Well, this is actually a lightning gun. And down here you have your your um, demon power. And down here you have modifiers. I'm not really sure what they're called. I can't remember. But these uh, can modify uh, portions of the game. Like 60% plus 60% critical damage. Gain 6% of maximum health on kill. Uh, and that type of thing. Right here is your mate uh I, I have a med kit equipped here here's your outfit you can actually change outfits or pick an outfit when you start a new game and in this i have uh the potion equipped so you know i can either equip a potion or a firebomb uh or whatever i want over there vampire blood which steals life for 45 seconds here are my different demon powers i've collected uh, these are the de okay. That's what these are down here to call. These are the destiny cards. Uh, you can set it up the way you want to. And then over here you have things uh, like bounties and uh, game modifiers. That's the inventory system. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing to it. Like I said, the Xbox 360 controller, in my opinion, does not work really well inside this menu or this inventory. So for this, I just use the mouse and the keyboard. 
uh, you do have different levels of equipment, just like you do in a, like in an MMO. You know, like you have the uh, the white stuff or gray. Uh, you have green, blue, and gold. So that should be familiar to you if you're used to playing in an MMO or an RPG style type of game. Nothing new here. Here's the map, uh, the current map where you're at, and then the uh, the objectives that you want to do in this map to get the bonuses. Which usually drops like a chest or something if you get them all. And so down here you can see I have a you know a doorway with an X. That's my next destination where I'm supposed to head. So let's go ahead and head there right now. Let's do that. So like I said, this is uh this is what they call an isometric. An isometric top down view. Which should be uh, familiar to those who are used to playing uh Diablo or Torchlight or whatever those types of RPGs. Now, if you look down at the bottom, the red bar is my health bar. And the yellow bar is like my action bar. Uh, when that fills up, you can use your demon power. Whoa. These things are really annoying. Don't run from me. All right, we have properly disposed of those guys you can switch the camera I mean not switch the camera but uh, rotate the camera and uh, something really annoying is that once you kill these guys they often come back which I find really annoying so that is my demon power I have an aura that uh, protects me and I think gives me health if I remember correctly Damn. And that was one of my special moves down there at the bottom. As you can see, uh, it's on a cooldown. So you can actually see it moving up as you uh, continue to play. And once it's, uh, it's fully lit back up again, you can use them again. Alright, where am I going? I think this way. So here's another map, and you still get the same, uh, the same objectives over here, just like any other map. All the maps are replayable. So if you don't complete all the objectives the first time around, you can always go back to them and uh, complete them and get the bonuses. So I don't know if that's audible. But the uh, story is narrated by Victor Van himself and then a mystery voice that I have not found out what the voice is. I think he just goes by the voice. Uh, think something like Bastion. Uh, except for instead of talking to you, the gamer, he is talking to Victor Van directly. Oh, snap. Well, that ended poorly. <laughs> Uh, okay, whatever. Um, let's see here. So they're on the map. They have something called the hub. Let's go ahead and go there. So this is the hub. Uh, basically the castle, I guess. And here you can do things like uh, transmutation, which is uh, you have to be level 16 to do that. But I, and I'm not level 16, so I can't do it. Can't show you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, over here you have a vendor. Voice acting is decent. Nothing to write home about. Uh, then you can buy, sell, trade, blah, 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 inside with the vendors. And he has different things you can buy, as you can see over here on the left hand side. Uh, you, there is a buyback feature in case you accidentally sell your things. And see what else we can get. He's the trader, not the traitor, but a person who trades. Uh, there's a guy there. He trades the uh, cards, the destiny cards. So you can buy those, sell those, trade those. So you can basically set up a, a type of hero that you want. If you want a, a super ranged attack type person, you can do that. If you want a person who deals in uh, elemental or magical damage, you can do that. And if you want a, like a tank type warrior, you can do that. Depends on how you set it up. It's all dependent upon you. Highly customizable. And here's my stash. <clears throat> uh, basically a chest that's accessible to you. 
at any point. You can come back here and get the weapons that you store in here. That should be fairly straightforward. In the middle of the room right here is the the map uh, where you can see how large this game is. Pretty friggin' large. Uh, which is good. And the gameplay is great. As you can see, the frame rates are ridiculously good. Uh, no problem with the uh, with the performance. I have nothing to complain about. And uh, people who know me know I will definitely complain about t bad performance. So that's another winning. Uh, and then basically who you are, you're a monster hunter. You know. Uh... And you're doing things right here. There's a storyline revolving around you, somebody you're looking for, and this queen right here. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the story or tell you what the story really is. I think you should really check this game out. It is a uh, $19.99 on Steam as a regular price, but Steam still is coming up, so there's always that. And that pretty much takes care of most of the details. Uh, not much to it though. The game does a good job of explaining itself. Uh, the pacing is good. I, I highly, highly recommend this game personally. And I usually don't uh, put, like you know try to recommend games. I try to just give you an overview of what it is. But this game, to me, especially if you're remotely interested in fantasy or action RPGs or anything of the sort, Monster Hunter type games, this is a must play in my opinion for Linux users. You've got to check this out. Must check it out. It reminds me of a toned down Witcher also, but I, mean, I might get some flack for saying that, but it, it does really remind me of a toned down Witcher. Uh, everything is A plus in this game. There's nothing to say negative really about it, except for the whole controller situation. And then if you notice, uh, like when you go past things, they disappear. It's a little bit jarring in my opinion, especially when you're playing through a dungeon. Uh, he can double jump off walls. But then the walls disappear as you walk past them. That's just weird to me. Uh, I'm sure there was a good reason for that design choice, but I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. As I said, the game is $19.99 on Steam. Uh, you can get a two-pack so you and your friend can get one for $35. Or you can get a four-pack so you and three other friends can get it for $59.99. Um, there's some DLC apparently. Highlander Outfit, which is free. Cauldron of Chaos Dungeon, which is free. Tome of Souls Weapon, which is free. All of that is great. I like free. You should too. Uh, you can buy the, buy the soundtrack and the art book, which is uh, $6.99. Uh, this has a very good, great art direction. Uh, and the soundtrack is uh, pretty good. So as I said, it has single player, multiplayer, co-op support, cross-platform play. Uh, I, I would assume that means between uh, Mac OSX and Linux. Uh, full controller support, which I already explained earlier in the video, has Steam trading cards and Steam Cloud, so it does save your uh, your saves to the cloud. Uh, so for the requirements, uh, let's just jump over here to Steam OS plus Linux. Uh, it says it requires the minimum of Ubuntu 12.04. You need at least a two gigahertz dual CP dual core CPU, four gigs of RAM. Uh, an open GL 4.1 card or higher. So basically a GeForce 600 series or higher or an AMD Radeon 5000 series or higher. And 4 gigs of available storage disk space. Uh, as I said, this game took nothing to run. Uh, it ran perfectly fine as you saw on my computer. I think that's pretty much it. That I mean the game, as you can see right here, the game gets overwhelmingly positive reviews uh, in recent days or weeks. I don't know what recent really means. Oh, and overall, since the game was released, it gets very positive reviews out of 1,600 reviewers. So, uh, like I said, this is a game that I don't really, I don't usually recommend or not recommend a game, but this is a game I highly recommend. Go check this game out. If you can't get it for 20 bucks, Steam sale is around the corner. Get it then, own it, be one with it, and that's that.